Welcome to another video, Walk on the Wild Side, and I am here on Waterloo Road. And last night there was a little bit of trouble around here. I don't know if any of you heard, but there was going to be another protest, similar to the one at the weekend. And it was covered quite heavily. I know it was covered quite heavily on TikTok. And I didn't go anywhere near it, to be quite honest, because I didn't really have a very good feeling about it. Um, and thankfully, thankfully, nothing happened. I think someone got arrested. There was a little bit of a scuffle. Just around it, you see, just up there, there's a roundabout, you see. Waterloo Road and Lytham Road, that's the junction there. So what I thought I'd do is I'd just have a little drive around here just to show you what this area is like. I mean, I have been around here quite a few times before, but uh, we'll just have a little look around and uh, see what it's like. I mean, a lot of the businesses around here were advised by the police to shut, put the shutters down early yesterday because the police thought that it was going to really, really kick off. And there was a lot of people, there was lots of kids, there was lots of beer monsters as well. <laughs> lots of beer monsters out, lots of scallywags out. And uh, it just seemed to be just like a load of people standing around, mainly around this roundabout here. Actually, the gardens on this roundabout look terrible. Look, look how weedy that is, that garden there. Come on, Blackpool Council. I mean, they've spent so much on this area around here. Look at that there. They've got bloody weeds coming up out of there. So this was like the, supposed to be like the area, just up here, you see where this big building is here on the right hand side? That used to be the Lido Baths. And that was like the focal point really of the, um, of where this protest was gonna happen. So what I'll do is I'll just swing it round. We'll get to see Blackpool Tower in a minute. And uh, you know, this area really has really suffered, you know. There's that building there, it's called the Enterprise Center and that was where the protest was planned for. Um, so I'm just gonna drive this way now towards the north. Look at that there, you get to see Blackpool Tower down there. You know, this area is quite downtrodden, obviously. I've been around here before. And the last thing that they need around here is trouble. So thankfully, um, you, you see that Willing Hill on the corner there? It's, uh, I can rem remember that as far back as I go. Some things never change, you know. Now we're now onto Waterloo Road, and back in the olden days, we always used to come down here to do our shopping. And it is still quite a lively, quite a lively street. I mean, at the moment, it's half past seven in the morning, so <laughs> it's pretty quiet at the moment, as you can see. That used to be the new market, that shop over there on the left hand side called Essentials. We always used to go in there, the new market. There's a shop there called Smart Mart. Just here we've got the Pit Stop Cafe on the left. Check out the Pit Stop Cafe if you come to Blackpool, go in there. Tell them I sent you a really good community cafe. And obviously just up here we've got the Heart Store, which is, well, it's been like that for, well, ever since it shut, really. It's just going worse and worse and worse. Just up here, Notary Arnis, they they closed early as well. Yep, Notary Arnis closed early. I'll just make a turn onto Bolton Street. I call this road the back alley of the promenade, this Bolton Street. I've been down here. See the seagulls are checking out the bin by say hello. Hello. Checking them out there. Now we're just around the back of the Yates's there. You see the Yates's? What's going to happen to Yates's? Who knows? But yeah, last night round here it was. Uh... Check out the videos. If you go on TikTok, you'll see loads of videos. There was a lot of the, a lot of the people were just filming, but they were kind of just stood around and not just waiting for something to happen, I suppose. But nothing really happened. I mean, the worst thing I saw that, that happened was someone did get arrested. And there were some people jumping up and down. In, look at all these seagulls here all over the place. Look. I think they've got older some. Yeah, there was loads and loads of kids out. And now round here. And this is the thing you see round. It's just like a concrete wasteland. It is a complete concrete. I nearly ran over that seagull there. It is a complete concrete wasteland around here. It is. 
there's really not that much for the kids to do. This is, I mean, look at it. There's no trees. There's no greenery. I'll just take you back this way. We'll have a look. So it kind of centered just up here around this roundabout. Uh, there were some some lads dancing in the roundabout. One of them had a an England flag on. But apart from that, everything was kind of just traffic was moving quite freely. There was lots of police around. Traffic was moving. Um, the Tesco was open. They didn't close the Tesco. So I'm just giving you a little look around, just to let you know that everything was all right and nothing, as far as I know. Nothing got damaged. So we'll just take a right down here now, go down the side. But that, that used to be the Lido bath, so I went in there. Actually, yeah, I went in there. Let's take a look down this road here, shall we, around the back. This is called Hill Street. Hill Street Blues. Hey, hey, be careful out there. Remember that there, Hill Street. Oh. I tell you what, this is a nightmare. There's got to wait for t half past seven in the morning and, and I can't even drive down this road. Oh. What's that car doing? I think they're trying to, oh. And then they go, oh. can you believe that? They go and drive into a car park and didn't even flash me. They could have flashed me to say, yeah, you can, oh, honestly. But it is a bit potholy. But as you can see, there's lots of there's lots of terraced houses around here. Yes, just over there we've got a, a food bank. There's quite a few food banks in this area, as you can see. The quite busy emptying bins. They've got a delivery there, Iceland. There's some good shops here, actually. To be quite honest. Uh, cash converter and a cash generator together there. I missed those the first time. Just up here is the post office. I'm just pointing out some things that I missed the first time. So as you can see, everything looks all right, really. Yeah, not 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 the prettiest at this time in the morning with the shutters down. What I'll do is we'll just take a left this time just to mix it up a little bit. We'll have a little look at the heart store there. Very, very sad looking. There. We're now on to Bond Street now. I don't really need to say any more about Bond Street, really, do I? Than what's been said before. You can even see the Pleasure Beach straight up there. This pub on the corner is called The Last Resort. Obviously, it used to be an old bank in the olden days. Boarded up building there on the left. That's a big building to be boarded up, that, you know. But I'm coming back up to Lytham Road now. So yeah, if you want to actually see um, what happened, you just have to go on TikTok and just put in Blackpool. You'll, you'll probably see quite a few videos that people did. So yeah, it all pretty much happened around here. I've just come back out again now, where the Lido, the, the Enterprise Centre there. We're back onto Lytham Road again. I'll drive up Lytham Road a little bit because a lot of the people were coming from, a lot. The, there was quite a bit of action just up here. There's lots of police around here. It was surrounded by police just here where this roundabout is. There's quite a lot of people coming from up here as well. They have covered it quite a few times on the channel before this, this road here. It's a little down from. Mark Kelly's there on the left. There's a bus shelter there which Beer Monsters sit in quite a lot. Get a cracking view of the tower up here. But I remember this road when it was so lively in the olden days and they used to have market stalls and all that sort of thing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really fallen by the wayside and like I say, the last thing it needs is trouble. So thankfully, I think some of the crowd ended up at the Metropole, but I think it all just petered out, you know, the Metropole Hotel, some of them ended up up there. The police were surrounding the Metropole again. Nowhere near as big police numbers as what they had the other time, or the other day. And, uh, but thankfully, um, 
nothing nothing happened up there so so that's it really that's a bit of an update for you on the situation after last night everything seems to have calmed down so i thought i'd have a little drive around for you just to show you i'm now on to bloomfield road where the football ground is it's going to be football soon we're coming up on football season again there it is there can you see that there bloomfield road Blackpool Football Club. So there you go. I'm going to end it there now. A bit of a drive around the South Shore area just to give you an update on what happened last night. If you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.